All right, guys. Welcome to the Unit 3, Cycle 1, Level 1, Sigma Learn video. So today we're going to learn about how to identify slope from the standard form. So at the top where it says this is point slope form, that is not point slope form. So go ahead and erase that. It should be standard form. So we are learning how to find slope from standard form. And this is the standard form. Okay. AX plus BY equals C. This is your standard form. Okay. So we're going to learn how to identify slope from that thing. Okay. The way we do that is we are given something in standard form and we're going to solve for Y. Which another way of saying that get y by itself. So we want y to be by itself on one side of the equation. So I want y on the left side of the equation. So what I'm going to do first, 7x plus 4y equals 20. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to bring this 7x over. Right? And the way I do that is I subtract 7x on both sides. Okay, so I would get 4y, right, because that goes away, equals 20 minus 7x. Okay, so now I'm going to divide 4 by everything, because I want y by itself. So those 4s would go away. Those cancel each other out, so I would get y equals 20 divided by 4 is 5. If you need to put that in your calculator, you can. 20 divided by 4 would be 5. Right? So it would be 5. And then 7 over 4, so negative 7 divided by 4. It doesn't simplify any farther down. So I would just get 5 minus 7 over 4x. Okay. And remember, my slope is the m value. So it is what it accompanies the x. So my equation is y equals mx plus b. Remember? And this is my slope right here, m. This is my slope. So I need to find what my m value is. It is whatever is with x. So whatever is with x is your slope. So in this case, my slope is negative 7 over 4. Okay. That's my slope. So I solved for y, and then I identified whatever number was with x. Remember to include the negative. Okay, so that's my slope. Let's try another example. Number 2, 5x minus 4y equals 20. So I need to get y by itself. I'm solving for y. So my first step, just like over here, is I'm going to get x over here to the right side. So I'm going to subtract by 5x, subtract by 5x. Okay, and this all goes away. So I'm left with negative 4y equals 20 minus 5x. Okay. Now, just like over here, I need y by itself. The reason that y is not by itself is because I have a negative 4 there. Those are being multiplied together. So to get rid of a negative 4, when they're being multiplied together, I need to divide. I need to do the opposite thing. So I'm going to divide by negative 4. Negative 4 and y are being multiplied together, so I need to do the opposite. I need to divide by negative 4. And you do that everywhere. All the way down. Okay, so I would get y, because those cancel out. 20 divided by negative 4. You need to put that in your calculator. You can. 20 divided by negative 4 would give me negative 5. So I'd have negative 5. Plus, so if I did negative 5 divided by negative 4, 
it creates 5 over 4 because those are two negatives being divided by each other. So I'd get 5 over 4x. Okay. My slope is whatever is next to x. It's not what comes first necessarily. It's what comes next to x. Okay, so 5 over 4 is the value next to my x variable. Okay, so my slope is 5 over 4 in this case. Just because negative 5 comes first, that doesn't mean it's my slope. X is next to 5 over 4. That's my slope. Okay, so let's try our last example. 2X minus Y equals negative 1. So again, I want Y by itself. So I'm going to bring 2X over. That's going to be my first step. I'm going to bring 2X over. Okay, remember this all goes away. So I get negative Y. Don't forget that negative equals negative 1 minus 2x. Okay, now y is not completely by itself yet, right? We can assume that there's a 1 right here. There's a negative 1y, so there's a 1 in between. Okay, so we can assume that. So the reason we need to know that is because I would now divide by negative 1 to get my answer because y is not completely by itself. There's still this negative one hanging out there. So I'm going to divide everything by negative one. This would go away and I get y equals negative one divided by negative one. Let's see what we get. One. Because those are the same thing being divided by each other. So you just get one. Now negative two divided by negative one that would be 2. Okay, if you need to use your calculator, never be afraid to use your calculator. 1 plus 2x. Right? So because negative 2 divided by negative 1, those are both negative, so it becomes a positive 2. Okay, so my equation, y equals mx plus b, another way I could write this if I wanted to, I could flip these around, right? So I could do y equals 2x plus 1. That's the same thing. But in either case, my slope is 2 because that's what's with the variable. But if it's easier for you to flip them around first, do it. But whatever number is with x, with the variable, that's what your slope is. It's not necessarily what comes first. It has to be what's with the variable. So identifying the slope from standard form, all this mumbo jumbo, what you're going to do is you're going to solve for y first by getting y by itself and then you're going to identify okay what is with my x value this was negative 7 over 4 5 over 4 and 2 okay so now that you have learned level 1 sigma I want you to take out your learning plan make sure you pick a demo a demonstrate so you've just done this video so now you need to do either a writing activity, a maze, or you can make a video. So you have three options to demonstrate your learning. You only have to choose one. Okay, so good luck.